it's about that determination of what you want to achieve and where you want to go and who you want to be and, and for me, being the best version of me. Rugby, just the physicality of it. Feeling confident with a ball in my hand rather than at my feet. It's that goal at the end of it, is knowing that you've got them drives to get up there and, and then get over the line. Never thought I'd play for my country. I never believed it. And it took me a long time to believe that. When I joined Siddle and within six months of Siddle, getting brought into the England setup, then it kind of started hitting home a little bit. And from then it was like, I want to keep in that England setup. I, I don't want to ever not be in it. I grew up in Copley, which is about five minutes from where I am now, and it was a great place to grow up. Great little village, we had a river, woods, football fields, rugby fields. I always got into sport, I always tried doing them things that I enjoyed. Outdoor kid, much of a tomboy. I struggled academically. Couldn't wait to leave, to be honest. I actually got to uni and then I fell pregnant with Olivia. That was difficult because I'd been picked to go to New Zealand with England and it led me into quite a lot of, of depression, struggle, post, you know, postnatal depression and try to do too much too soon on my own and I had to slowly build back myself back into rugby and get noticed again. It's me and it's just my determination, I suppose, and I love rugby and I'm very lucky I've got a natural ability and that's, that's helped me through to push me even further to get where I needed to be. And I suppose a girl from, you know, Copley leaving school with hardly any qualifications and in and out of education after that and then in and out of jobs and to where I am now playing for my country, it's, I never thought I'd ever do that. And, it just shows it doesn't matter what upbringing you have or where you've come from. It, if you really want something, you can go do it regardless. The game's growing. we just got to keep doing well and getting the growth at the girls' sections and, and having role models within the game to have these younger generation to look up to and, and want to be like them. For me, it's, it's, all, it's all on the rise, so it's really exciting to see what's, what's going to be in the future for women's rugby. I just love the girls around because they've got the same passion and drive and they want the same, they want to be at the top. For me, it's just putting that shirt on, being with the girls walking out of that tunnel and just smashing each other up on that field and, and coming away with that win as well. When I'm looking now at the 2022, how different it's going to be, the coverage that we're going to get. Fans, I think it's going to be incredible. Having the opportunity, if I get picked to play, that is just going to be the biggest achievement ever. And I'm really looking forward to walking out onto that field and, and making our country proud. Everything that I've done in life has been a part of my journey. Some things I might have made some really bad decisions, but I've learned from stuff. And just doing what makes me happy as, as well as my family and just want to make everyone proud. I want to make Halifax proud, I want to make St Helens proud, I want to make my country proud. This is my journey.